This week I'm driving the 2022 Lincoln Navigator. It's an exciting vehicle for a few reasons. This just received a mid-cycle refresh, which means it has all the latest and greatest in the Ford Lincoln tech suite. And that includes Active Glide, which allows you to do hands-free driving on the highway. So this week I'm taking this big old three-row SUV on a road trip to see how Active Glide does in a real-world scenario. I'm going to show you how to activate and use the system and then review it to see what we like and what we don't. So join me, let's get started. The logical place to start is probably by telling you what Active Glide is. Active Glide, or Blue Cruise and Ford products, is an SAE level two system. So what that means is that even though it allows for hands-free driving when you're on the highway and the conditions are right, that I, me, Clint the driver, am responsible for the car at all times. I need to be able to intervene in a moment's notice, even though my feet are off the pedals and my hands will be off the steering wheel. Level two systems with hands free are this sort of weird middle ground. There aren't any level three cars on sale today, but when they do go on sale, a level three car will be responsible. It is driving when its systems are engaged. But for now, when we're in this level two land, you as a driver are responsible at all times. And with that, let me show you how it works. Let's get Active Glide engaged. Now I'm in full control right now, foot on the gas, hands on the steering wheel. We start by putting the adaptive cruise control on. So that a lot of cars have at this point. Adaptive cruise control just monitors the car in front of you and will speed up and slow down as necessary. We're at a nice, easy 75 miles per hour right now on the highway. Then there's this button right here, which has all these arrows around the car. You activate that and then the lane keeping assist system is on once that happens active glide is kicked in now there's two versions of it one where it says hey keep your hands on the steering wheel it shows you a little graphic or right now it says hands free that means you can take your hands off the steering wheel i have to keep my eyes on the road at all times though because this little strip right above the airbag cover is constantly watching me so if i start looking at my phone or going on TikTok, reading a book i don't know it's going to chime at me and say hey dude what's going on we need you to pay attention um, otherwise i can kind of keep my hands in my lap i can get a drink of water but i have to be ready to engage kind of whenever um, the graphic in front of you that says hands-free lights up the entire instrument cluster blue. It's the sort of trippy graphic and it looks like the car is getting abducted into space. It has this blue orb around it. I mean, it's cool, but you have to be watching it at all times because this is a big car. This is a Lincoln Navigator. It's more or less the biggest car that Ford and Lincoln make and it takes up almost the entire lane, which means that as the highway starts to get really curvy, Active Glide tends to hand you back control as the driver more often than not. Um, if you had a smaller car like a Mach-E, for example, I would imagine that it stays more in the center of the lane and is less reluctant uh, to hang on and do its own driving. But this is basically it. And we've had this car all week long. We've driven it hundreds of miles on a road trip so far. And I would say 60, 70% of the time, it's in hands-free mode. In a combined 10 hours of driving, Active Glide did its job well the majority of the time. But this technology is designed to make road trips a more relaxing experience. And the few times that the system did need to disengage quickly, let's just say I was anything but relaxed. In fairness, that's true of any level two hands-free system, not just this one. This is an important tech building block as we get closer to full autonomy. But for now, I do think it's best that we keep our hands on the steering wheel. Let's try this again with level three. And until then, thanks for watching.